My grandfather used to take me around to see Reading play because the Reading Football Club was just around the corner. And I remember they had a player called Charlie Barley who who played for Arsenal. And I think his transfer fee was £100 in those days. And Charlie Barley was was getting on in years. I think it's probably why they, they got him fairly cheap. <laughs> But he was a wonderful dribbler, and I, and I used to boast a bit Charlie. I used to say nobody got the ball away from Charlie. They, they didn't want, he, he didn't move around very much, but once he got the ball, but they, you know, he was a wonderful dribbler. And I remember once I was at, had my bicycle out, and very near to us was Cranberry Hill. And I could, I could actually cycle up Cranberry Hill with my three-speed gearbox. And I overtook Charlie Barley, and I remember realising why they got him so cheap because he hardly breathed. <laughs> I mean, was, so, but that was a big moment in my life that I'd actually met Charlie Barley. Another thing I remember happening in Reading is when the war first started, all, all the evacuees um, arriving down from London and they arrived in Reading Mainline Station. They had everything uh, contained in a little suitcase and so on, a label in their necks with an address on. And that too figured in the Paddington book when I came to write it because it, it stayed in my mind and Paddington in a, in a way is a refugee and, and I think his label saying please look after this bear is a very important ingredient and having a suitcase, his has got a secret compartment so you never know quite, uh, quite what's in it.